Are you ready to learn programming in Unreal Engine 5? This course will show you how. I'll take you from absolute beginner in Unreal to making your own open world game project, an action style RPG game complete with combat and enemies, gold experience points in the form of souls, damage, health, and death, and we'll make all this from scratch. We'll start by learning the basics of Unreal Engine, how to maneuver throughout the viewport and manipulate objects. We'll then create a completely blank open world map and add lighting and sky and learn how these objects work with each other. We'll create a beautiful atmosphere for our world with two suns, and you're encouraged to customize your sky to get it to look exactly how you want. We then learn how to add a landscape to our open world and sculpt hills and valleys and mountains then apply materials to get different biomes and environments with landscape painting. We'll learn the foliage editor and get realistic Megascan assets for free from Quixel Bridge, a massive library of assets built into the engine, and we'll add rocks, trees, grass, and growth to create a beautiful forest in the middle of our open world desert. After world building, I teach you the basics of vectors and math for video games. This section will teach you what vectors are, why they're important for gameplay programmers, and examples of game problems that they can help you solve. We'll cover the various coordinate systems and what Unreal Engine uses, and the vector operations you'll be using throughout your career as a game developer. After the math section, we get started programming in Unreal Engine. We'll first review the basics of C++, so if you have at least a beginner's skill level in C++ or a similar language, you'll be good to go. We'll cover Unreal Engine's class framework and get started creating our first C++ class, a basic actor, and we'll cover the functions that the actor class has built in. We'll use these functions in Blueprint first to see how they work, then move into C++ to see how to implement these behaviors from the C++ side. I'll teach you the basic trig functions like the sine wave, and we'll make our own functions that use the sine wave to give our actor class hovering behavior. From there, we go one step up in complexity by creating the Pawn class. We learn how pawns have the ability to be possessed, and we'll make this bird pawn that we can fly throughout our level to get a bird's eye view. From there, we move on to the Character class, using Echo, a character from the Unreal Engine Valley of the Ancient demo project, which will migrate over to our project, and I'll show you alternatives to Echo if you want to use a different character, of course. We learn the basics of character movement and animation, creating an animation blueprint and learn how to drive its behavior through C++ and implement equipping and unequipping weapons. We'll make use of control rigs to implement leg IK or inverse kinematics, so Echo's feet will look natural on sloped surfaces. We'll use Unreal Engine 5's new full body IK features to move her legs in a natural way and I'll teach you the theory behind how to make this happen. I'll show you how to keep your animation blueprint from getting out of control by linking multiple animation blueprints into the main one, so we can keep animation functionality organized into categories. We'll learn how to create animation montages so we can attack with our weapons. I'll show you how to get animations from various free sources, and we'll make IK rigs to retarget animations from other skeletons onto Echo's skeleton, so she can use any animations we can get our hands on. We'll learn how to create interfaces to keep our classes decoupled, maintaining solid programming practices and making our code flexible. We'll make a hit interface so any actor can implement hit functionality from enemies to inanimate objects like pots and vases. Don't worry, I'll teach you what interfaces are and how they work. I'm not assuming you already know anything. We'll use chaos destruction to fracture meshes and make physics fields to break these objects so our game can have destructible objects that break apart into various levels of fracturing. We'll make our breakables spawn treasure so we have an incentive to break every pot, vase, and urn we see. We'll get an introduction to Niagara and make our own Niagara system so objects that can be picked up are shown to us with these beautiful glowing embers. We'll then move on to combat, creating our enemy class, implementing the hit interface on enemies so they can play sounds and spawn blood particles when getting hit. We'll make use of the math skills we learned earlier by making directional hit reactions. I'll teach you about more advanced vector operations, 
like the dot product and cross product, so we can calculate the hit direction, and we'll use root motion animations so our enemies will stumble in the correct direction when we hit them. We'll then move on to AI, adding navigation behavior for our enemy. We'll give them the ability to patrol to random points on the map, and then we'll add a pawn sensing component to our enemy to give them the ability to see us when we move in front of them, and they'll get hostile and chase us. And we'll make them lose interest if we run far enough away, and when they get close, they'll attack. I'm going to teach you the proper way to refactor your code. I'll teach you the techniques programmers use to take the code they've been developing and refactor it into easily readable and maintainable code, clear and concise and easy to debug. With an extensive refactoring lesson, we'll see how we can create more complex behavior with our well-structured code base, making implementing new functionality a breeze. We'll then make our enemies smarter by introducing Unreal Engine's new motion warping system. We'll give them the ability to warp their location and rotation to their target so they'll be more likely to hit us if we're not careful, getting more Souls-like behavior. Our enemies will be more challenging to fight, and we can adjust the difficulty if we want more Elden Ring-style bosses. With smarter enemies, we'll need more abilities ourselves. We'll give Echo the ability to dodge out of the way of attacks, another Souls-like combat mechanic. We'll implement attributes for our characters with an attribute component that keeps track of health. This is a generic class, not tied to any type of character in particular, so we can add it to both our character and enemy characters to keep track of health and other stats. We'll give the enemy a health bar that shows up when we hit it and goes away when the enemy loses interest in us. Echo gets a health bar of her own, along with a stamina bar and gold and souls counts. We'll lose health when getting hit, and lose stamina when using the dodge ability. We'll also get gold when picking up treasure. We'll then create a new Niagara system for souls, and you'll be able to customize it and make it look exactly how you want it. Enemies will then spawn souls when we kill them, allowing us to gain experience points the more enemies we slay. Finally, we'll take all of our hard work creating our enemy class and reuse it for multiple enemies. We'll use the new Animation Blueprint template, an asset that lets us reuse the same animation blueprint for various types of enemies with different skeletons. I'll show you how to use all of our code on a raptor and an insect, and then give you the assignment of reusing our animation blueprint with various types of enemies that you choose and creating different types of weapons. We'll then fill our open world map with enemies and items and be able to run through and adventure through our open world looking for dangerous monsters to kill so we can gain treasure and experience in the form of souls. This is the first of a series of RPG-style tutorials that will teach you the basics of Unreal Engine programming and give you a beautiful portfolio piece that will showcase all your gameplay programming skills, world-building skills, combat and AI skills, visual effect and sound effect skills, and you'll have something fun that you can play and share with all of your friends and family. We'll learn all of the new Unreal Engine 5 ways to implement these behaviors, from meta sounds, to Niagara systems, to linked anim graphs, and so much more. Each concept will be explained in great detail, and you'll get challenges along the way to test your understanding and try these techniques out on your own. To take this course, you just need to understand the basics of programming in C++ or a similar language. If you understand functions and variables, pointers, and basic class creation and inheritance, you're good. If you've taken my first course, Learn C++ for Game Development, you're more than ready. If your programming skills are super basic, don't worry. I teach you the skills necessary to understand Unreal Engine's code base and how it works. Anything new that you haven't seen before will be explained and we'll dive into it in detail. And we'll learn how to make the most use of Unreal Engine for our games. I'm giving you the lessons I've learned over the years as a professional game developer in Unreal Engine so you'll learn how it's done the right way. So if you're ready to dive into Unreal Engine and start programming your own video games, this course is for you. Enroll now, and we'll get started creating this beautiful game project together. I'll see you soon.